Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Don Frio. This is Keep It Cool TV, man. I appreciate y'all stopping by for a new episode. Hey, man, I, I'm seeing the views, man. I'm loving it. Every little as before, y'all go in and click on my other views and be like, "Oh, this, this nigga only got 50 views." That's that's a lot to me, especially you know somebody that's just starting out. And then I'm the type I appreciate everything. Every like, comment, goddamn share, I appreciate it all. So again, I appreciate it. First things first. Y'all know I got to get it to it. Y'all know I got to talk about it. It's been everywhere. Angel Reese versus the world. So to put some contest on it for the people that's been living up under a rock. Um, March Madness, Sensation, uh, Caitlin Clark. She ended up uh, hitting the uh, John Cena, You Can't See Me, on a South Carolina player in the Final Four. Um, just taunting them. You know, the game was over. She blew them out. Um, so apparently when they went to the championship to play LSU, Angel Reese said it towards the end of the game, did the same thing to Caitlin Clark. So now for some reason, you know, I've been seeing all types of comments, calling her classless, um, saying, you know, she's this, she's that ghetto, a professional. Come on, man. What I what I what I really want, and the reason I really want to talk about this too, because y'all y'all try to make it seem like oh unprofessional, oh she should be able to handle herself in a certain way. Just say that you racist. Just say that you mad that a black person won, that a black person beat your shining white armor. And again, I, I have not. I want to. I want to put this out here too. I have nothing against Kayla Clark. This girl can shoot. She can absolutely ball. Her range is limitless. Her dribbling skills, like she knows how to shoot. She know how she know how to carry the rock and carry her team, obviously, to you know the championship. Um, she's no joke, you know. So for the people that don't know, y'all need to go look at Caitlin Clark, man. I'm to my logo shots. So she's comfortable with them. So you know, I want I want to give props at first, but second thing, like. Like, why y'all really mad at Angel Reese? Just say that it's a it's a racial thing. That's why that's what's really bothered me. Y'all, y'all pretending that oh, she's unprofessional, she's ghetto, she should be able to represent herself for the better. Just say you just say you mad that, that she's black and that the black person, you know, I guess rose to the occasion or you know, was able to one up, you know, Kayla Clark, which is it shouldn't even be like that. It shouldn't even be a race car. But when one person is attacked for the the same thing that the other person did, and the only difference is the skin color, come on, it, it's is it's, it's, it's obvious. It's obvious why why y'all mad. And then the only people that I see commenting on this is white people. Y'all like this really this really pissed y'all off. And I was so ready to come up and I ain't even got my little, my, you know, my little, my little ambience, my little background music going. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play on that right now. Y'all saying, y'all calling it everything but what it is. Y'all racist. Y'all mad that she's black. She's on top. And on top of that, I want, I want to, I want to give a shout, a shout out to Angel Reese as well. Like this, like these girls could ball. She recorded her, I think she actually broke a record with her 34th um, double-double. Come on. And she won most outstanding player for the championship. And she she rightfully deserved it. Not only with the skills that she possessed, but she carried, she carried that energy for that team. And the fact that she has to go on stage and defend herself against... Y'all gotta understand, man. These are these are still young people too, and the fact that she has to sit down with all these eyes on her, and I seen it, and I seen that she when she did her press conference, I, I want to give her props on that too. And Angel did her press conference; she was impeccable. Like she handled it how it was supposed to be handled. It, it was perfect. I mean. To be honest, I would have, I would have would get on the ass, but no, no, nah, she she handled it so well, so well, and I'm proud of her for that. Because one thing about it, as a black person, we know when shit being done to us that's wrong, that's from the opposite race, but we're not able to speak on it or 
you know in the sense may you know may not know how to speak on you know certain situations but she laid it out perfectly she called out the media and that's what you have to do because at the end of the day like you sit here trying to chastise a kid for something again that Caitlin Clark did in the previous game before so now you know like y'all so and see this is this is what I don't like either this, and there's one thing that's one thing about about you racist folks it shows y'all think y'all hiding it so well it shows it shows like like a mask like a bright ass mask it shows it shows that y'all are racist because and then for racist people when things go left they 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 like the racism like spills out of them y'all lost a game and and now y'all mad at a black person and now now y'all express that hate y'all show y'all true colors because of a a goddamn basketball game is that serious to the point where you get on twitter you you go to twitter you go to facebook instagram whatever your choice of platforms or the social media platform is you decide to go on now take time on HOD to hate on a kid a kid and don't 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 get me like okay so we when when they call her ghetto or professional things like that you got to understand like the energy that she brought wasn't nothing crazy it was just regular stand-up basketball and then on top of that i like how she 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 put that in there she said she from baltimore come on she from baltimore man krishan rock y'all know yeah hey they represent over there ain't had no reason to bring her in but you get what i'm saying like she said i'm from baltimore They're, like this is how they talk this is how they play i believe it i'm over here in florida i don't know i don't know where the hell y'all at if y'all ever been to the park you know to the hood uh they didn't even gotta be in the hood it could be the nicest goddamn basketball court it goes down on the basketball court it goes down. Yes, it's almost a fight every other time I've been play ba- play a basketball game now. That's just how it is. It's competitive. And then on top of that, you putting these kids in front of thousands of people and you telling them to be cool, be calm, be humble. Come on, man. These people are and that's why I love watching college basketball. No, co- college anything. Whether it's football, basketball, and I sometimes catch the baseball. Like, I like watching because these kids are hungry. They fighting for something. They fighting for a spot. They not getting all that money and everything just yet, but it's in their eyes. You can see the, the fight in them, and I love it. And that's all it was. It was part of the fight. That's all That's all Angel did. She she expressed herself during a fight. And, and it, any basketball game, you know, it, it gets rough. So that's why I'm calling in the fight. Like she, she expressed herself during it during the game. Now she did that in the third. Man, hey, one thing I want to say, Angel Reese, congratulations, congratulations on your NCAA record of the you know the 34 double doubles. Uh, congratulations on the season, the energy you brought. Uh, the performance you had um, most outstanding player congratulations on all that congratulations for the whole LSU team uh, that's coming from me like congratulations man y'all deserve it because at the end of the day all y'all getting so much media attention for the wrong goddamn thing LSU was getting so much attention for the wrong goddamn thing these people just won a championship and all y'all could talk about is a, a freaking gesture uh made towards another player two players uh, go, uh, having uh, having that sort of rivalry uh, is i wouldn't even call it beef because it wasn't even like it was just a regular goddamn game y'all blow everything out of proportion fuck wrong y'all and this shit that be blowing me and y'all make it so political that's why i say y'all y'all try to make this shit so political no y'all are racist y'all are racist as shit and it's showing is bleeding out y'all pores y'all fucking racist that's what y'all is uh, i'm gonna I'm say i'm gonna say what angel reese can't say she was she was very professional and and well-mannered and like she her communication like i said it, it was great mama tell you i ain't i ain't i ain't, I ain't fighting for millions so i'm gonna tell you how it is especially on keep it cool tv fuck y'all that's what i'm gonna say 
fuck that noise all that all that racism and stuff like that's what bothers me because again it's not the political y'all just racist it's all white people talking about it i ain't seen one black person say anything to the point where and then on top of this on top of this everybody else got us got an issue with it i ain't heard caitlin come out once to say oh i ain't heard her come out once if it's some interview that she did but she was uh, you know coming out the neck i ain't seen it yet but like y'all just call it just call it spade a spade y'all races and shit y'all don't y'all don't like what we win and stuff that's okay though just be honest about it. You ain't got a you ain't got a lot to kick it. Oh y'all rate the uh ghetto or professional. Kiss my ass. That's what you tell them, Angel. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell them for you, Angel. Kiss my ass. Kiss her ass. That's what she said. She told me that, y'all. She told me to tell y'all that. Angel Reese from LSU told me to tell y'all to kiss her ass. Respectfully. <laughs> no. The thing that bothered me the most is, like I say, these are adults staring down a kid. I know how it is. I know how it is with the odds stacked against you. I know how it is to to do something incredible and not get the not get the um, the recognition for it. Because again, she's she done something incredible. She again, she led her team to the championship. She won the most about most um, outstanding player. She she broke in the NCAA records like. We when we gonna talk about that? When we gonna stop talking about the whole celebration and all the, the taunting and stuff? And talk about the good things that she did. So that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all, y'all get off her, of man. Y'all grow the fuck up first. No, y'all got something better to do than a hater on a goddamn kid. Grow up. Got something better to do with y'all time, man. I got kids of y'all own y'all could be all this that and the third with leave that damn girl alone. Congratulations, Angel. If I ain't said it enough, congratulations, congratulations to the to the LSU team. Congratulations to Boosty. <laughs> I gotta say his name, man. He he put on, man. He put on. I saw the videos and stuff, man. He told my Larry Bird, come get your daughter. <laughs> If she is somebody related to Larry Bird, I, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but yeah, this nigga crazy. But I ain't trying to get canceled, so I won't say too much. What I what I what I really want to say, and I'm not gonna sit up here talking about the things that he you know he going through now with Stormy Daniels. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that little freak ass nigga. You Stormy Daniels, you you paying OnlyFans or porn stars uh, uh hush money? Are you trying to run for president? Freaky ass nigga, fuck wrong with you? Like you can't get no no coochie for no nobody else. You can't get it for nobody else. You went to somebody famous? What the hell wrong with you? And then oh my god, and like what did somebody say? Oh you let um <laughs> somebody tweeted uh tweeted Stormy Daniels and and said oh man I can't believe you let Donald Trump hit that been seemed more like a thump. It was called that Donald Thump. Hey, listen, I ain't I ain't the one to sit up here talking about anybody's sexual, you know, skills, man. But that man going outside, man. Try to pay that lady hush money to keep quiet. And then on top of that, it was for for some of y'all that yeah that read titles that don't really read the article. Uh, a document was put into place like a you know a, um what it is uh like the key quiet and stuff like that the document was put into place stormy signed it uh donald trump's lawyer signed it but donald trump didn't sign it. that's why she's uh i guess going going try to make it public and stuff and so now that that just opened a can of worms because now that was enough for New York to to indict him, and he already facing you know other charges and such, um, you know uh, election fraud and shit like that. But like the reason, and then you know that almost got almost got thrown on by the real reason I she brought this nigga up. So I've been seeing a lot of people say, um, you know, oh, I wasn't this broke. 
when 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 Donald Trump was in office. Oh, Donald Trump was giving us money. And I've been seeing a lot of black people talk about this too. And I want to say y'all some sellouts. Y'all sell y'all so y'all been y'all been y'all been wanted to know how how it felt to sell y'all so listen to the shit y'all talking about. Talking about, oh, I wasn't this broke with Don when Donald Trump was in office. Best believe if you if you call yourself not being broke from a twelve hundred dollar stimulus, your ass was already broke. If you relying on a, a on a stimulus that came fucking what that big can. I think we only got paid like four times that year. Best believe your ass was already broke. That twelve hundred did not make you rich. That twelve hundred did not pay too many of your bills. You your ass was already broke. That twelve hundred didn't do shit. So all that oh I was. I, I wasn't as broke uh, with Donald. Yeah, show sure ass was. You was broke already, broke ass nigga. Broke ass bitch. You was already, y'all bitches was already broke. Y'all ain't had no goddamn money. What, 1200 That shit was gone. Especially if you actually not living with your fucking mama. Actually got your own goddamn bills. That shit was gone. That shit don't even cover most people's rent. Y'all talking about old. I wasn't. Uh, I might. I might vote for Donald Trump. That man hates you. Stupid. Y'all niggas dumb. Y'all niggas get. Y'all niggas ignorant, man. That man hate you. Are you for the vote for him? Cause, cause of stimulus. And most of that stimulus was for for the fucking COVID. It was like that nigga was just looking out for you. And then on top of that, from what it, uh, every other country was getting was was paying their civilians. This nigga threw y'all a bone and y'all sitting there sucking on it. Incredible. Y'all ain't got no morals, man. Y'all living in we living in a godless time. Y'all gotta find God. Find 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 something. Cause ain't no way you selling out your morals for a goddamn stimulus check. Stimulus, and then you wonder why the goddamn taxes are low this year. They getting that money back, dumbass. Sitting out worrying about the support, and then these the same people that that got slick shit to say to to the people that got food stamps, to the people that that's on government assistance. Like, how the fuck are you gonna say some shit like that? You for the vote one of the most racist presidents back into the goddamn White House. And you you made jokes about people on, that's getting food stamps. You made jokes about people that get government assistance that's on Section Eight that has WIC. You you made jokes towards them, but yet you 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 banking on a on a stimulus check that that man go back in office. That man there ain't no guarantee that that man will be able to to give a to do that. Just outright just start giving stimulus checks. Who do you y'all? What the fuck? I don't understand how, how life works. It's not like that. Definitely not like that. Oh, let me vote him in my office. You know, he's gonna go ahead and give us some money. Y'all need to find sugar daddies. That's what y'all need. And for the men, hey, you find a sugar mama. I'll find a sugar daddy too. I know y'all like the little twisted. Then y'all y'all wanna ha ha ha. And then when I then and this is why this is why I hate. You gotta stand on what you talk about. People be like, oh, I just put it's just it's just social media. I'm just put you know it's just a post. No, no, I hate people that do that. Cause they'll put the most outlandish shit. Or they'll 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 say at once that somebody called them out on it. Yeah, no, now nah, it's, nah, it's just a post. Now nah, you know I just did it for the jokes. No, that's that's what your ass believe. You just bad peddling and now not that somebody, not that two or three people got onto the com, you know, in the comment section and telling you how stupid your ass is. Yeah, I keep playing, man. This man is this man has empowered white power movements. This man has damn near called for a second riot when he was about to get arrested. Like damn near was telling them to rally again. I see y'all learned from the first time he left y'all ass on red. Storming the White House. Y'all white people crazy. And then y'all real finicky. Y'all real like 
y'all real finicky shit hit the fan y'all uh, y'all have an issue y'all real deal you know when when people get an attitude they'll be like i'll knock all this shit over y'all real deal do that and then y'all y'all yeah y'all mix it in with the racism y'all be ready to knock shit over flip the table black folks we gotta do better man we gotta do better I'm calling for it. I'm calling for it, man. We got to do better. We got to reset our morals. Understand that whatever you put out, whether, oh, it's just a joke. Oh, it's just, I get it. I'm going to listen to the to the people that know me. I'm the fucking life of the party. I'm goofy. I have all the jokes in the world. But it's some shit that you just don't joke about. It's some shit that you just don't put out into the world. Not to, not that you for the vote for a fucking racist dude hoping that he give y'all a government assistance. The same people that saying hi, hi almighty, you know, shitting on the people that that's getting EBT right now. It don't make sense. It, it don't. Y'all compromise y'all morals to the point where the shit start. It, it stop making sense. Then somebody, oh, what well, did it? Shut your ass up. Cause at the end of the day, I'm, sometimes you know, sometimes I be here. You know, I have time. You know, I go in there and say like, what? Da -da -da -da. Oh well, taxes. Y'all guys, shut up. All the reason you get taxes is because you got a kid. Your ass wasn't working. That goddamn last job that you had didn't want to give you shit. Oh, taxes was low. How you know? How the fuck do you know how how low taxes was? How the, how, how you you wouldn't be able to reap the benefits of the changes that he made. The changes that he made did not. I guarantee you, the change. The same people that's talking about, oh, I'm because he. Those changes that he made to the tax, to the taxes, and like the whole format that he did, it had nothing to do with you. That was like more so middle class, but even still, like it. Yeah, I'm not middle, not not the ones talking like this. Y'all love him, man. I hate y'all. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Y'all better listen to them folks. I'm saying white people that voted them in, then a month or two later, they, they was getting mad that they voted. Y'all like, listen to them. They'll tell you. But they was once racist. They still fucking racist, but then not. They have certain realizations, you know. And all the reason they, y'all gotta understand, all the reason they put Trump into office because, you know, the whole Obama thing. They, they, they had to outdo us. They had to outdo us. What other way to outdo us, you know, they got mad that we put Obama into the office. So what they do next? What they do next? Get the most fucking far right. Listen, they got the most racist person ever. Excellent get back. I actually applaud them. I ain't never saw nobody get get back like that. They're like, oh, all right. They were really pissed when we put them. We put Obama in office for another term. They're like, oh hell no, you know what? They threw all logic out. They're like, nah, we just finna get uh the most oppressive ass nigga that we uh the most oppressive ass white person we could find. They're gonna trump wobbly penguin peach body face ass was perfect for was perfect for for they for the agenda. But y'all finna vote them in though. Saying y'all black people for them. Put them in, yeah. So y'all got the same agenda as the as the racist white folks that put them in. It don't make sense. The shit don't make sense to me. I say, man, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta change y'all morals, man. Y'all gotta. Oh God. What uh, what uh, Drewski say? Keep God in your life, fuck nigga. Keep God in your life, fuck nigga. Y'all was always broke. Y'all was always broke. Y'all never had money. Trump didn't give y'all money. That twelve hundred dollars, I guarantee that shit did not last you. You was always broke. You was broke before the stimulus. You was broke during the stimulus. You broke now. I wasn't as broke. You was the same amount of broke. You just had a stimulus. It lasts you for maybe a month, two if you ain't got no bills. But cut the shit. Y'all gotta, 
as women and this is more towards women than men but it still is still it's not really like a like a gender in this y'all gotta be careful with the advice that y'all that y'all get these people don't mean don't mean you good y'all women getting these advice from y'all friends um men getting advice from the homies you gotta understand a lot of y'all you gotta okay so look at it like this you're okay i'm trying to see how to put this y'all see y'all see i'm sitting here stumbling and shit because i'm 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 trying to make sure i put this a certain type of way but one that friend don't know the truth they don't know the real story they only know your side and nine times out of ten, your eyes is leaving out some very, very specific details that if you probably would have told them a certain type of way, they probably wouldn't be, you know, giving you that, that sort of advice. But that's that be the main thing. How do you expect someone to get give you real, like real advice that y'all only giving up half the story? So then when they give you the story, it's like, oh yeah, you should leave. Da, 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 da. You gotta understand, you wanna be if you live by yourself. Uh, if you live with this man, uh, vice versa, when y'all when y'all go and break up with this person, when y'all go ahead and start that argument, y'all gotta understand it's the influence. Only you and that person gonna have to deal with that. If I get into your ear right now and say, "Hey, y'all, break up with that bitch," she out here fighting and shit. Her drawers always fucking brown. Like break break that shit up. Again, I only know what you told me. And then on top of that, I I don't really have too much a too much of a horse in this race. So in a sense, the advice I give you is is it's a little it's given a little more loosely than what it would be if if it was me. Or uh, you know the advice I give it may I may say man leave that bitch. But if it was my situation, I might still you know try to work it out, try to stay you know try to wash her drawers you know maybe give her you know start buying her black drawers so that way you know her white drawers ain't always brown like i i would you know but at the same time like people sometimes give bad advice and then like the again y'all y'all be thinking okay you know this is from a friend you know she they they have my best intentions in mind yeah but at the same time you gotta understand people are a lot of people don't know how to separate their own life from the advice they give you they don't know how to so let's say for example if i'm having a bad day the advice that i give to my homie may be a little more negative than than what it normally be if i was in a regular mood not me per se i'm usually neutral but i'm just saying just in general uh you know how people say like oh what the fuck wrong with him he, he, I, he need to get some pussy or something and then uh uh you know what's wrong with him? he need to get you know she need she need to get something thin. like we you gotta understand that the shit people go through it affect their lives so when you go and ask them hey what should i do you is gonna you're gonna get everything that they feeling on top of with their logic so they're gonna give you the feelings with their logic but they, they're gonna give you the feelings that they feeling at that time so let's say if i just let's say i'm i'm good with my girl me and my girl good like we on good terms you know she just she just gave me head a bit you know we we could give it high fives to each other when we get out you know uh we walking around she just fits me breakfast you know i do the little thing while she cooking i took her a booty hole like all that like we having a good time so like you ask me anything yeah i'm gonna say man you, you gotta work it out man you gotta work it out again man them, them, them drawers ain't gonna be brown forever you need to start getting two ply you know two ply tissue you know so that way she she able to to wipe her booty better so I, I give that type of advice but then i say if i'm beefing with my girl she just slapped me some shit on i just went through a phone and saw she was you know swallowing three glizzies you know at night while i'm going at work you know working overtime trying to provide for the family you ask me you know hey what should i do with my girl i'm gonna say fuck that bitch i might just say yo fuck her fuck her the brown draws and that lazy ass fucking lace front I don't even know why it's pulled all the way back. That bitch should be a lace back. The shit is showing her hair. It's not blended well. That may be the advice I give. Only because I'm feeling some type of way about my personal life. So then you go in and say, you know what? You Now you go to her. You say, oh, fuck. Fuck 
fuck you then and then that fall out now i'm gonna go back home to my girl me and my girl are gonna work it out i just made you argue with your girl you for to be alone you for to beat your meat now you gotta get johnson's and johnson's a jerkins for the irkin the irkin jerk shit for me lonely for you man all because you listened to my advice because I was having a bad day again sorry man you know what can I say my girl was swallowing three glizzies I man, shit, she get tossed like a rag doll yeah hit more than a goddamn piata like I, I'm sorry. I have I have a negative shit going on right now. So yes, I'm gonna give negative advice. So at the end of the day, like even with me, like uh, on a serious note, I don't I don't ask to you know. I ask okay when it when it comes to to advice and things like that, I, I more so ask my mom. You know, I go to my mom. You know, I go to certain people. And you know, I lay I lay the situation out a certain way, not saying I'm holding details or anything like that, but you know, at the same time, I'm a I'ma hear the advice, I'm a, I'm gonna give the story, I'm gonna hit the advice, but I'm not the type that I sit down and run with it. Like if you tell me, Oh yeah, fuck that bitch, I'm gonna go, you know, home and say, Yo, fuck you, ho. I'm not gonna do that. And you should be the same. Like, take take it with a grain of salt. Y'all women, y'all women, especially y'all women. Y'all like y'all letting these females get in y'all ill. Y'all gonna be alone. Y'all ain't y'all ain't fucking a feet. Y'all ain't fucking y'all y'all friend. Y'all this nigga the one that's that's, that's making you feel good. But yeah, you got your girl in your ear giving negative shit to you, especially if she a fucking bird. You already know. Oh nah, fight that nigga, get that money. Nah, nah, nah. That's the like no, I see it all the time online. Y'all women, one thing about y'all women, I want to say, you know, y'all give some of the worst fucking advice when it comes to dating. Like, y'all give some of the worst fucking advice. Like, y'all, so, like, the ones, okay, is let me put it like this. There's no medium with y'all. Y'all got some that's able to talk on a certain higher level, a certain spiritual level that's able to give, they able to give, you know, some very good insight. But then y'all got, like, some fucking buzzer bird ass bitches that's like y'all y'all give some very bad advice to y'all friends and that's not right that's not really your friend you you tell her to leave her oh leave that now i get it you know certain situations you, you may have to i mean hey bro like split out fuck her she lame like like i may have to give that sort of advice sometimes but like that's not for them. Like, you're my friend, so I want to make sure you're happy. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give the advice first to say, hey, man, but you don't think y'all can work it out? And then at the same time, if you say no, I'm going to say why. Why you feel that way? That's the type of friend I am. I'm going I'm to say, you know, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push for that first. And then if shit ain't right, then shit ain't right. How I see it, you're coming to me for a reason. You need help. We all stuck in a box sometimes. So, you know, talking to other people is good for the soul. So sometimes we need that. But like y'all, yeah, there's people out there to me giving out real bad advice, man. Y'all, y'all keep taking everybody advice like that. Again, take what I would do, and this is how I, I I sort of you know deal with things. If I go and seek advice, I again take it with a grain of salt. I look at it as like a brainstorm. So I put all these ideas, all these advice that I got from other people mix it with how i'm feeling and then i come to my conclusion you know but when i say like mix i'm saying like hmm i take it to consideration because at the end of the day you know these people got something to say because you know someone speaking from the experience but that's what i'm saying though like you you got let's say if i if i come to you and you just your last two relationships wasn't so good you're gonna have a dominant man. Nah, the hoes all the same, man. They just da da da. I don't want to hear no advice from you because I understand what, where that's coming from. I understand you coming from. I wouldn't say a hurt place because I don't want to say you know where you at in your life. You know you may have gotten past it, but at the end of the day, it is a sort of hurt in a sense because now oh they hoes oh they bit because the, the last two treated you some type of way. 
So that's what I'm saying when it comes to advice with the women, especially, and that's why I say even with the women, because you know, you, men, you know, men at time, uh, men a lot of times, they suck. We suck at times, man. We, you know, I apologize on our behalf. So, you know, it's a lot of men that did women dirty, and these same women are giving other women the advice to to not run into you. Fuck niggas. Like, but at the same time, she's so hurt that she giving the, the homegirl that may have true love, that may have somebody in front of her bad advice, because again, she just got flipped by three dudes. Three, not to say, you know, I ain't talking about no trans shit, but I'm just saying, like, the last three dudes treated her wrong. And no, don't go to the one that you feel like, oh, okay, they got the better relationship. Let me not because at the end of the day, you don't know what's going on. You don't you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. That shit could look one way, then that's why you know people be getting divorces or people be splitting up. I'm like, damn, y'all be like, oh, they they look so good on yeah, because y'all don't really be knowing what's going on. That's why I I be real hesitant. I be real light when I'm giving relationship advice because y'all tell me something. I don't really be knowing what's going on. I'm gonna give you advice off a half story that I received. But with advice, you take everyone's advice. Even my mom's. I take my mom's advice with a grain of salt. That's no disrespect to her. I love that lady to death. I would take a bullet from my mama. But at the same time, I, I still take her advice with a grain of salt. But I always take it into consideration. When I say a grain of salt, I don't mean just ignore. You know, it's different. People use grain of salt different. What I mean, still take the advice. But don't be so quick to, uh, you know, and, uh, apply the, the advice. Think about it. Think about how you feel. Think about how that person, what that person told you. And then come up with your own conclusion. But take that time. Think it out. Don't be so rational. Especially you women. And... I feel like we all got to do we, we got to do a justice to our friends, to our family, anybody that comes to us asking for advice, because you got to understand, again, when they coming to you for advice, they coming to you for a reason they coming to you for a reason, they need help like, and some of these people, you got to understand a lot of people like me, I don't always like asking for help, or I don't always feel comfortable, so if I do come to you and ask you for help you got to understand, I really need some fucking help so it's the same thing with your friends. You gotta understand they probably really need your fucking help. And you for to give them the worst fucking advice ever. Because you feel in some type of way. No, separate that shit. Give them the most logical how, how you would do it. How you would logically do something. There's a lot of people lost out here, man. And then be a group of lost motherfuckers. Y'all, y'all hang around like-minded people that think like y'all. That y'all be like, oh, that's my best friend. You know, are y'all really just best friends because y'all y'all think alike? Because you know you got people that don't like being friends with people that's not like them. I will be a, I will befriend anyone, even if you have different views than me. I still want to be your friend because at the end of the day, you may push me to think different. You may push me to think outside the box just because I don't agree with something or you know uh, you don't agree with you know that, that doesn't mean you know. I don't want to be your friend. Y'all gotta be some more, more in tune with your feelings. And then, then like for the people that, that go around asking other people for advice so easy, you gotta ask yourself first. Self reflect, then go seek advice, and then self reflect again. You know how they say, look left, look right, and then look left again before you go? Same as that thing. Self-reflect, get the advice, self-reflect again. So that way you can process what the fuck people tell you. You be negative influences, man. We don't have a lot of positive influence nowadays. So that's all I'm trying to say, man. Like, this is like, watch out. Like, these, these, these people out here that we get in. And, and then, stop. Like, don't be so blind to to these YouTube folks. Like, these influences and stuff. Oh, that's something I wanted to. Ooh, I'm so happy we came across this. You YouTube influencers, um, 
y'all ain't shit. Most of y'all like there's a more, not the one you know. You got your ones that's at the top, you know, that's uh, that's making genuine content. But the ones that oh, I work for Amazon, I made five hundred a day. Oh, I I do this, I made two hundred and fifty dollars a day. Oh, I'm a full time content creator. You should do the same. Don't be telling these people to quit their goddamn job when you still work yours. You ain't making no goddamn five hundred dollars at no at no Amazon. You not. You're not making five of these to the people that's looking looking at these YouTubes. These people is not they not living how you how you think they living. They not a lot of like a lot of these people got a lot of crazy shit going on. A lot of these people is not making no goddamn hundred and uh, hundred and fifty thousand a year. How you how you think they uh, think they do? Like you is you got to treat it like how, how you say um, Instagram. How people only post their best photos. They don't really post everything. It's the same thing. They're going to show you a lot of wins. They're not going to show you the losses. The losses that they currently going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to be, y'all got to think, man. But it, but see, y'all be so, y'all go to these YouTube channels and y'all seek this advice online on, on career or relationships and stuff. Because again, y'all lost within. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. So y'all go and try to find out. And yeah, these people are, are vultures, are vultures, and like uh, just like con men with, with traps. Oh, sign up to uh, buy, um, buy my um my course, and I guarantee. You, stop. I get you trying to sell a product, but you got people that's real. They're lost out here. That's gonna waste money thinking that you the best thing blowing, and you're not. Again, for the ones that's being truthful, for the ones that's real deal content creators, hey, I, I, I salute y'all. But it's a lot of y'all like real deal selling these courses, selling these dreams to people, bro. Like that, that's not okay. The daily vloggers, y'all. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. No, they not. They not. I'm telling you, a lot of these art, um, not the artists, a lot of these. Um, content creators these vloggers these social media influencers they don't have the motion you think they have because online motion don't necessarily guarantee offline motion those are two different things those followers and stuff some of those followers and stuff do add up to to money and such like for me yes you know i, I get paid off youtube you know i have my facebook monetized uh instagram so yeah some of that's a lot of that stuff yeah for me but even still, I can honestly tell you, for somebody that that get paid off off social media, it's not what they what they talking about. It's not. Facebook and Instagram are stop making uh the stop the reels bonus. They do the ads. Um, they got a, like an ads on reels um type of you know bonus that you're able to do. I think Instagram is just not starting it as well. Um. So, you know, they got other, you know, um, other avenues that you're able to make money. But trust me, man, these people are not living like that. These Some of these people don't live in the house that you see in. Some of these people don't drive the cars that you see in. Some of these people, the clothes that you see them on, they only wet at for the video. They take that shit right off. Some of them return it back. Some of them ain't going to wear it until they go to the club. It might just turn to a club outfit. Every week they gonna wear that same motherfucking club outfit. Then they gonna go out with the Orlando fit. Then the bitch gonna go out with the goddamn rainbow dress, and that's just gonna be it. Whole time you thinking they oh they living they full time. I'm gonna be like them. Get your own fucking life. Get your own life. Like get your own life, man. These influencers, media influencers, they a lot of them ain't living how you think, man. A lot of these people on IG ain't living how you think. A lot of these people online in general, they not living. They don't have the motion like you, like, like they tricking you to believe. Now you got people making real money out here on social media, but you got a lot of people faking. Now I get it, that whole fake it till you make it, but you ain't got to fake out other people that, you know, along with you. You fake by yourself. My issue is you got people that real deal want to be a full-time content creator, creators and, and looking, you know, for the right way. And here you go. Oh, I made 
five hundred dollars a day selling my journals, uh, my books, uh, my pens, uh, my whatever. No, you don't. No, you don't. And they lay it out a certain type of way. I, I even see some people. They be like, "See, you can see it here. It's it's a way. It's a way they show you." I got training from this from this business uh, consultant a long time ago. Fucking racist ass dude. Like one of the racist, one of the most racist bosses I ever worked for. Uh, but he taught me about social engineering. Social engineering is like I, I need y'all to look this up for the people that's watching this. For the people that don't know, look up what social engineering is. People go to college for this. People are real they're able to manipulate conversations. They they able to man, manipulate a certain point of view. Uh, they, they 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 social engineers. I need y'all. I need y'all to just look this up. Some people go to school for it. Some people just got a knack for it. Well, I could come over here and say, hey, man, welcome to Keep It Cool TV, man. I appreciate y'all stopping by, man. I appreciate all of the money y'all sent, man. I just received $5,000, man, out of nowhere, man. And then, 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 then y'all sit here like, oh, wow, for real? Head ass. Y'all got to make sure y'all y'all think for yourself. And that's why I want to tell people. Think, think for yourself. Have your own ideas. Come up with your with your own actions. When you wake up in the in, in the morning, think about what you want to do to, today. Don't go hitting up your homie. Don't go hitting up your 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 home. You know the home girl. Uh, you know your partner, man. Like, think about what you want to do today first. Then if the, what they do in the line with yours, then everything cool. You got some people, they wake up and just hit up the homie and just do whatever they doing. You don't have no life of your own. You only do what other people do. Work for yourself. Shadow work. It's another thing I want y'all to look up. I don't know. I'm giving y'all homework and shit like that. Y'all can look it up. Y'all don't have to. I can't tell y'all what to do. Friendly advice. Shadow work, man. Y'all gonna start working on yourselves. Y'all won't be so lost. Y'all won't be out here taking advice from every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Y'all not going to be out here trying to vote a racist motherfucker out here because he gave y'all stimulus money. Y'all not going to be out here hating on a goddamn kid for winning a goddamn basketball game that may not matter five years later. Like, y'all... I gotta, y'all gotta find, y'all gotta find y'all paths. A lot of y'all off, offline are off road right now. Y'all gotta find y'all paths. I lost out here. Fuck is wrong with y'all. I read they're doing whatever y'all want to do out here. Godless motherfuckers. Hey man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. I appreciate y'all stopping by. It's your boy Don Frio, man. Let's keep it cool, TV man. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah.